In just over half an hour, Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett remind us of some more classic moments from their comedy partnership, 20 Years of the Two Ronnies. That's after Les Dawson and his guests play Blankety Blank. And here's your host, Les Dawson! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the next 30 minutes or so of effervescent merriment. <laughs> A sort of potpourri of thinly disguised trivia in the shape of blankety blank. What makes blankety blank what it is? <laughs> <laughs> we admit to being unpretentious. Some quiz shows in television today throw expensive prizes at contestants and they bewilder them. Others try to steal a match, be one up on their other competitors. Not us. We're in the middle. When you see our prizes, you'll throw up. <laughs> <laughs> what has our limited budget thrown up in the shape of our celebrity panel? I'm so excited tonight. I love working with the unknown. <laughs> First of all, a man who has been in the business for so long he can remember Sammy Davis Sr. <laughs> a great performer, when he appears, audiences nod their approval. And believe me, within ten minutes of watching him, you'll nod off. <laughs> Joe Brown! <laughs> when this very lovely lady used to read the news bulletins, I was so impressed I asked the BBC to repeat them. <laughs> she stunned the nation when she displayed her legs on the Mokum and Wise show. And after we've finished tonight, I'm going to take her a drink and see how she reacts when I say bottoms up. <laughs> Angela Rippon! <laughs> how do you introduce a man, a colonial from across the Great Pond, who actually bought a company just like that? <laughs> a man who's had more clothes shaved than James Bond. A man whose favourite song is Nobody Knows the Stumbles I've Seen. <laughs> yes! It is Victor Kayam! <laughs> We've never had this girl on the show before. <laughs> she was in that long-running TV series, Upstairs, Downstairs. You didn't see her because when she was upstairs, the cameras were downstairs. <laughs> Ellie Lane! One of the nicest men in show business, I'm introducing now. A comedian with a great staying power. Enormous. Twenty years ago, he started in show business at the bottom and he's still there. <laughs> a funny man from the Erin's Green Isle. I'm hoping the show will do something for him tonight. He'll force him into resignation. <laughs> Charlie Dave! <laughs> Last but never least, a woman I adore. We've been great friends for a lot of times. She could have been in the film Lawrence of Arabia, but she found that Peter O'Toole was too heavy to carry across the desert. <laughs> <laughs> and we all knew she couldn't go a fortnight without water. <laughs> there is Hughes! <laughs> but the most important people are the people who come here tonight to win major prizes that I defy any other show <laughs> to have. I'm walking over now to meet the contestant. <laughs> Just take your time and be, be at ease. <laughs> Sandra York from Thornley Bank, Glasgow. Yes, that's right. Is that the way you pronounce it? Yes. Well, whereabouts in Glasgow is that? Thornley Bank. <laughs> yes, you've been a big asset all day. <laughs> You're single. You're single, girl. Yes. Oh, that won't last for long, I'm sure. You live with your mum and dad. And you went for a large department store in Glasgow. That's right. Selling a trendy make of ladies' leisure and sportswear. That's correct. And your hobbies include snooker. I like snooker. Do you? Yeah. Do you queue up for it? <laughs> <laughs> your favourite player is red. <laughs> <laughs> One of those days. 
Vamos, vamos. Vamos. And you like football? Yes. So your favourite player is Joe Jordan? That's right. And you used to play football as a centre forward? Yeah, at school. Did you? They yeah. call you Yorkie or Big Joe? Yes, that's right. Because you have no front teeth. That's correct. Really? Yeah. Take them out. Take them out. <laughs> Jack, we're moving on to you before that fades. <laughs> Jack Pritchard, you're a sales representative from St George's Telford in Shropshire. Lovely part of the world, isn't it? It is, it is, Les, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I've rehearsed this all afternoon. <laughs> I'll, well, I'll give you right. more time next time. <laughs> you've been married to, right to Angela for 16 years, you have no children, but you have a ginger cat called Tiger. <laughs> Your midwife is still in the state of shock. Work as a sales representative for a laundry hire company. A laundry craft company in Whitchurch in Shropshire, yes. Oh, do you often feel like throwing the towel in? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this a fun show? <laughs> you play the guitar badly because you, well, it must be because you're highly strung. <laughs> remember this, most guitar players have stomach trouble. <laughs> Look, you came in for nothing. <laughs> You're not a theatre. I don't have to do this. I don't have to abase myself to you. You're really short. What? Right. Well, now that we're on the floor, we'll start the show. Now, ladies first, OK? And keep a stiff upper lip, otherwise your teeth will come out. All right, Sandra? I'm all right. Just take your time, don't worry. The clues are in the question. Lady Lavinia Dawson has so many pot plants that her house looks like a jungle. Instead of a dog or a cat, she keeps her blank as a pet. Now think of the garden. I shall walk onto the upper strata and talk to Joseph Brown, friend of friends. How are you, mate? All right, Sam. It's a long time, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, years, isn't it? Lady Lavinia Dawson yes. has so many pot plants Hot plants that her house looks like a jungle. Instead of a dog or a cat, she keeps her blank as a pet. Lights on, please. Lady Lavinia Dawson has so many pot plants in her house yeah. <laughs> that it looks like a jungle. Instead of a dog or a cat, she keeps her blank as a pet. A lion. Lion. <laughs> Joe, lion. Sorry, mate. Well, so I mean, just remember this is just a question of felines, nothing more than felines. <laughs> Angela, I can rely on you. I can. <laughs> well done, you were screaming at rehearsals. Victor, a boy. Uh, great, Victor. <laughs> have you got a visa? <laughs> what have you got for me, Angel? We oh. haven't got it, look. <laughs> Mum? I'm sorry. You can do what you like. I'm I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like the first one. <laughs> Neris? I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Look at those eyes. <laughs> oh. Beautiful eyes. And the see sound of your nose, it balances your face. <laughs> You're a beautiful person. Well, you? thanks, Len. It's a pleasure. Well, you got nothing there, Sandra, but don't worry. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Jack, you ready for this? <laughs> Our local publican, Bernie Brewster, was once a fireman. Now, when anyone strikes a light in his pub, he gets out a blank. Remember the clues in the question, if you can understand the question. <laughs> Our local publican, Bernie Brewster, 
was once a fireman. Now, when anyone strikes a light in his pub, he gets out a blank. <laughs> Lights on, please. You ready, Jack? I think of just about. Our local publican, Bernie Booster, was once a fireman. Now, when anyone strikes a light in his pub, he gets out a blank. A hose pipe. Hose pipe. You're going for a hose pipe. There we go. Joe, hose pipe. Can't be back. Angelinica. Uncle Les. Porque mucho de un par de gracias, señorita. Victor. Hose. Like it. We're very well with you from the angels. I haven't done it right, look. Extinguish it. Never mind, you're doing as well as you can do. <laughs> well. Don't worry. You'll be okay. <laughs> Charlie. Hold. Oh. Come on, guys. <laughs> wonderful, man. Neris. <laughs> well done. Well done, now, Jack. Now, it's a two. Hi, Angel. You can match with everybody. Including <laughs> <laughs> the audience. <laughs> I've just spent a weekend at a hell farm, but never again, said Tubby Dawson. They gave me so many carrots to eat that I'm still waiting for my blanks to stop growing. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drink carrot wine. Yeah? I've still got drunk, but I can see better. <laughs> I've just spent a weekend at a hell farm, You're but never... <laughs> <laughs> never again, said Tubby Dawson. They gave me so many carrots to eat that I'm still waiting for my blanks to stop growing. Wonderful. Isn't this a wonderful show? Big oh, star, I want to tell you. We've got something going here. A little thing here. All right, Charlie, you got it down. <laughs> Lights on. <laughs> now, this is your big chance to win a major prize. Do you realise that? Yes. Take <clears> your time, OK? Right. I've just spent a weekend at a hell farm, but never again, said Tubby Dawson. They gave me so many carrots to eat. I'm still waiting for my blanks to stop growing. Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Ritz. <laughs> what in the name of heaven is Ritz? <laughs> I walk up and down there all night if necessary for Ritz. Yes. Ritz. <laughs> And you're going for roots? <laughs> you come all this way for a pen? <laughs> the ball from the station's why bother me. <laughs> roots. Roots. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Rabbits. Rabbits. You see? <laughs> Angela. Ears. Ears. Okay. Well, that's it. What can I say? I know it seems unbelievable, Sandra. Yes. Thank you for turning up. Thank you. <laughs> you're not going away empty-handed, you're going away with a writ. <laughs> and you're taking away with you something that money can't buy. Oh, yes, you can. Well, George, you back now. <laughs> I've had enough with ruts. <laughs> you get away with it. I'll blank it back, Jabba, get pen. See you, love. This is our super match, and we held a poll with the studio audience to ascertain what they thought was the most appropriate phrase or saying that is concealed behind the intricate mechanism of this super match frontispiece. Now, <laughs> you're dead on the right way. <laughs> Rising in popularity, we have 50 blanks, 100 blanks, 150 blanks, and for the benefit of anybody watching this show who's got a headache, here are some of the wonderful prizes he could win tonight. Trim up with his and hers electric razors. Enjoy a dinner party for six, cooked and served in your own home. Bring more pleasure to driving with a car stereo system and four speakers. Double up and look smart in a luxury leather jacket. Lounge around in Les Dawson's favourite sofa bed. And tonight's star prize is a stunning collection of garden furniture. Oh!
amazing. Follow that monk out. I can't follow that monk out. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal the legend on our electronic scoreboard. He's getting slower in there. <laughs> Scotch blank. Now, who would you like? You have three of our celebrated cabal of celebrities who help you in this mammoth task. Who would you like first, Jack? I'd like Angela. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> Angela, we have Scotch. Whiskey. By Jove. Straight to the point, that one. Who else? Uh, I must have Joe Brown. He's one of my idols from years ago. Yeah, he's been idols. <laughs> <laughs> you want me, do you? I yeah. won't let you down, Sunshine. Scott, please. What about Mist? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. great, you're very popular out there. <laughs> I didn't know the audience was so old. <laughs> Who else? I like Neris, please. Neris. Little delightful Neris Hughes. Scotch broth. Scotch broth. That's very, very good. And you really are wonderful. Oh, Leslie. You really are. I know you're not going to last again, you know, because it's sweet <laughs> bread. <laughs> Now we have three beauties, mist, whiskey and broth. Joe with mist, Angela with whiskey, Nellis with broth. But you can, if you wish, Jack, have one of your own. No, I think I'll go with Angela and the whiskey. Yeah, go for the whiskey, <laughs> and it'll bad judge. The 50 blanks we have, <laughs> mist, Joe. What can one say? It's all right, mate, I missed. <laughs> 100 blanks we have, <laughs> broth, Nellis. Very good. But it is, of course, for 150 blanks. Yeah. You won an in-car stereo system, which is a fog on a battery. <laughs> it's a great system. Sounds good. It's great, great for a bull-nosed Morris. <laughs> now we may see you later on the headset, so congratulations, we Thank may you. see you later. Okay, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> I'll now meet our next contestant. <laughs> Carol Ann Cox. Correct. Age 33. Really? Yes, I'm proud of it. Good God, I thought you were at least 20 odd, that was up. Oh, that's so right. No, it's you, double 33. Not on this side, anyway. <laughs> you married to Alan? Yes. You're very proud of being a genuine Cockney. I am, true, yes. Good deal. You're very proud of your miracle son, son Christopher, baby. Yeah, Chris. may I say hello to him? Of course you can say hello. Hello, Christopher, love you. He's mm. 35, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you met your husband through going to football matches and you support West Ham. Yeah. Which proves you've got a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> the ambitions are to run a small catering firm and to spend two weeks in a top-class health farm getting your body into shape. Well, what's wrong with it now? Well, when I was pregnant, I went to 16 and a half stone, and now I've lost six stone from having me baby. Like, well, have you changed the nappies? <laughs> <laughs> it's just I've got blobs everywhere, and I want to straighten them out. <laughs> Swimming's the answer. My mother-in-law lost two stone swimming. I couldn't understand it. I tied them around the neck tied them. <laughs> Colin Kennedy from New Townards. You don't pronounce it like that. N Newton Ards. From Newton Ards. County down Northern Ireland. You've you married, you married for two years to That's Dawn. Right. You recently started a new job as a mortgage and financial consultant yep. in an estate agent. You used to work for the Halifax Building Society. That's right. I went for them once for a loan. Uh -huh. I said to the man, I do a stand for a mortgage. He said, you don't stand, you grovel. <laughs> <laughs> Your hobbies include playing football, motor cruising on the locks of Northern Ireland <laughs> and parachuting. Yeah. Tell us about that. I've done it a few times and uh, it's, it's... You don't find a bit of a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> Being Irish, you'd like to go water skiing, but you can't find a lake with slopes. That's right. And while you and your wife were in Canada, you bought a waterbed. That's right. Don't use them, me and the wife drifted apart. <laughs> Show, take your time. Right. You're not safe anywhere these days. <clears throat> An astronaut just stopped his capsule for two minutes for a spacewalk and came face to face with a blank. Now think of the question. Clues there, it'll be repeated. You're not safe anywhere these days. <clears throat> An astronaut just stopped his capsule for two minutes for a spacewalk and came face to face with a blank. 
Right. Got it? <laughs> Lights on, please. You're not safe anywhere these days. An astronaut just stopped his capsule for two minutes for a spacewalk and came face to face with a blank. Martian. <laughs> a Martian? Martian. You know the baby was a miracle. <laughs> if you get a prize, you'll have a miracle. <laughs> Martian? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mugger. Mugger. <laughs> Could have been a Martian mugger. <laughs> Angelo? Maybe a Martian traffic warden. Now that's what I would have said, traffic warden. Yes, I would have said Angelo. Beautiful in that. I'd like to see nothing better. Victor? <laughs> No, they've still got a sense of humour in the state. <laughs> they have got Reagan. <laughs> what have we got for me, Angel? Traffic warden. See what I mean? <laughs> Charlie Days, love of loves. Policeman. Good day. Next time, Dave. Neris. Oh, sorry. No, you did. We thought it was right, Neris. You did. Now you see, that's where you got to think, right? right? Don't worry over it. I'm not. <laughs> Get <him> from. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we go over to Hewter. Phil McCavity <laughs> was a very short-sighted dentist. Instead of pulling out a patient's teeth last week, <laughs> he took out their blank or blanks. <laughs> what I call him? <laughs> Philip McCavity was a very short-sighted dentist. Instead of pulling out a patient's teeth, Last week he took out their blank car blanks. I'm back in. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie, that's gone down really well. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready then? Lights on. Colin? Yep. <laughs> Philip McCavity was a very short sighted dentist. Instead of pulling out patients' teeth last week, he took out their blank or blanks. Tonsils. You going for tonsils? Yep. Very good. All right, we've got tonsils. Joe, tonsils. Yay! Yay! And you all, beloved? Tonsils. It's so nice in the periphery of life to meet somebody so intellectually agile as myself. Victor, <laughs> whiskers! He's <laughs> in that company he bought and he's flat. Darling heart. I didn't know what to do on that one, but I did that. Chances are very good. <laughs> Charlie Day. Oh. Happy days are here again. Happy Neris. You've got it. Yeah. Right, darling. And just take your time. Now let's see the state of the game. <laughs> And you two can match with everybody. I take your time, don't be worried. Our ship's cook, Long John Silver, is getting very unhygienic, said Captain Flint. Not only is he crimping the pastry with his parrot's beak, he's also using his wooden leg to stir the blank. <laughs> okay, his wooden leg, right? That was the only thing that had him stumped. <laughs> Our ship's cook, Long John Silver is getting very unhygienic, said Captain Flint. Not only is he crimping the pace with his parrot's beak, he's also using his wooden leg to stir the blank. Any trouble, kid? All right, Charlie. I'm, I'm all right now, and I sir. Rag a bone and a hank of hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember this, mate. A Spartan life and a fish diet, you'll never go far wrong. <laughs> That's your light, please. Yes, now, don't forget, take your time. Think of Long John Silver, right? Aye, aye. How is What do you say? <laughs> if you've got something to say, say it. Aye, aye, Katie. <laughs> oh, we all kept it. No, we don't hold that then. <laughs> Our ship's got Long John Silver getting very unhygienic, said Captain Flint. Not only is he crimping the pastry with his parrot's beak, he's also using his wooden leg to stir the blank. Tea. Cup of tea? Cup of tea. 
I've been on this plantation now for five years. I don't see Miss Scarlet there get me up. Oh, that there red butler. I got tea. 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 Soup. That's what it says, soup, isn't it? Could have been tea. You couldn't get a wooden leg in a but a cup of tea, could well, you? Well, that's... Since when have you started thinking for yourself? <laughs> Angela. Less. Never mind, you weren't on the show for long, but you were awful. Holly, <laughs> oh, will you join us? I have to say goodbye to you, but remember, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? No. But you're not going to wait up to no. Because you're taking with you something that is beyond the dreams of avarice. You're taking with you a... Super much again. <laughs> Please reveal the legend. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> now you can only have three of these wonderful celebrities to help you. Right. Would you like, Colin? I'll take Joe. You're going for Joe first. We've got back. Uh, uh, back backstairs. Backstairs. <laughs> Just for one off. Thanks, Mike. Backstage. backstage. You're going for backstairs? Yeah. Okay, Joe. Right, who else would you like? We've got backstage of Joe. Can I have Neris, please? Of course you can have Neris, Neris. Neris. Backbone. Backbone? That's nothing wrong with that, Neris. Nothing wrong, no. That's fine. What else would you like? Can I have Angela, please? Angela here, ribbon. Backdoor. Backdoor. Succulent, straight to the point, and terse. Yes. <laughs> now let's see what we have. We have Joe with stage. Angela would look like... Dool. <laughs> and now it's with bone. Mm -hmm. If you want Colin, you can have one of your own. It's up to you. No, I'll go for uh, Angela and back door. You're going for the back door, okay? The 50 blanks we have. Okay. Electronic, electronic. <laughs> bone. For 100 blanks we have. Door. Never mind. For 150 blanks we have. Okay. <laughs> You have a dinner party served in your own home from an Armenian restaurant <laughs> in a van. <laughs> well, you've got that. You've also got your blankety-blank -blank Jabba Pen Collins. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> now, let's see where we stand. You've already won that in-car stereo system, fine, and you could double, and I can't tell you how excited everybody is, <laughs> to win that garden furniture, <laughs> which is full of mould. <laughs> Come over here, back to back. Back to back. No, no, I mean, that's Ed. That's Ed. That's Ed. Yeah, well. Now, you can only have one of our sparkling panel, that champagne cabal we have over there to help you in this mammoth task. Think carefully. Take a look at them. Who would you like to lose you a uh, win you a prize? <laughs> lose me a prize. <laughs> it's a very difficult choice, but um, it is. It's extremely difficult. I'll, I'll stick with Angela because she she saw me through last time. Oh, well, that's the couldn't think of nice. She's a nicer lady. Never broke the day's bread. She's a wonderful person. <laughs> right in the hot seat, Angela. You speak it. <clears throat> Angela will write down. If you match, then you'll take away with that garden furniture. Okay. Under security because you ain't going to leave it. <laughs> right? yeah. Lip blank. Lip blank. Take your time. Okay. Ready, Angela? Lip. Stick. Stick. <sighs> yeah! Thank you.
Thank you, Bunch of Abigail Penny, with a nice contestant. I'd say goodbye to you, but to Joe, Angela, and Victor, of course, to Ellie, Charlie, and of course, Nelly. But especially to you, those patient viewers who watch us every week. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can I go bless? <laughs>